On this episode of You Eat, we're making fried shrimp and spaghetti marinara. You will not believe how quick, easy, and tasty this recipe is. Spend some time with your family and watch this recipe, and make sure you watch to the end. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of You Eat. As usual, I am really excited to have you here, and I appreciate all your support. Today I'm going to be making one of my all-time favorite dishes with the holiday season coming around the corner. This is something that we make every Christmas Eve and it's going to be fried shrimp. I'm also going to be making some marinara sauce with spaghetti and I'm going to serve that on the side with the shrimp. I'm super excited and I'm ready to make this fried shrimp with marinara sauce and spaghetti on the side. Are you ready? Here we go. Print all our recipes on yeat.tv. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on a pot of water back here. So we're just going to get that going. This is a pretty quick recipe. The other thing that it takes time to do is that I'm going to defrost the shrimp. So I'm going to take these shrimp here. They're frozen. We're just going to soak them in water. They'll be defrosting like five minutes. All right, we're just going to leave them on the counter for a couple of minutes and we'll drain them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a marinara sauce real simple. Olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper. It's gonna take about 20 minutes to cook, and while that's cooking, we're gonna prep and fry up our shrimp. As you know, I like I like olive oil, so I want to make sure it's a generous amount of olive oil. And about four cloves of garlic here. We'll use. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast this, take it out, and then chop it up and add it back in. We have our chopped San Marzano tomatoes. I'm going to add some salt to this water here, just a handful of salt. So while I'm waiting for the garlic to heat up, as I mentioned, this is a, um, a dish, normally we just make fried shrimp and we do it two ways. One, we just dip it in flour, and the other way we would flour, egg, and bread crumb it. Uh, the majority of the family, of my family, uh, I'd say about 85% like just the flour. It's very simple. We just season the flour with a little salt and pepper and uh, we just fry it. And then uh, what I'm doing today, normally we just eat that by itself, but um, I just wanted to have some pasta with that. So I'm going to have, I'm going to be making, so I'm making a marinara sauce anyway, and uh, just for the dipping of the shrimp. And I said, well, it's really good to serve the pasta or the spaghetti with the marinara sauce with the shrimp on the side or on top. We're infusing the oil with the garlic. I like to keep the garlic in there. A lot of people remove it. So what I do is I cook it first, then I remove it, and then I add it back in. I'll dice it up. All right, so we're just going to chop up some, uh, some parsley. You can put as little or as much parsley as you like. I usually use uh, maybe like two tablespoons chopped. And then I also have some fresh basil here. You can never have too much basil. I'm gonna take this garlic and chop this up as well. Salt. Don't go too crazy, and then we'll adjust it. Black pepper. Again, you put as much as you like. I got my favorite tool here, which is my hand mixer, and we're just going to mix this in a little bit. I want to keep it still a little bit chunky. Right, that's more to my liking. All right, so we're going to put that on the back burner. Ready. My water is boiling and we're going to shut it down. Uh, it'll come right back up to a boil with the lid on here. And I'm going to move the marinara sauce to the back. I'm going to add some canola oil or vegetable oil or whatever oil you like to fry in. I like to fry in canola oil. I'm going to give it a nice, decent amount of oil. We're going to be deep frying the shrimp. The shrimp is going to cook really quick. These shrimp are just about to frost in. The water is really cold. Once I put uh, some room temperature water in here, they'll defrost even more, and then we can start peeling them. All right, these are good to go. All right, so I'm just going to peel these real quick. These are already kind of like have a slit in the back of them. 
So we're just going to peel them and we're going to remove the tail. I just want to make sure that uh, you give them the sauce a stir. Now I usually keep these shells and I freeze them. And then once I have enough, I make a shrimp stock. Or you could just discard them. All right, we got Leo back. Say hello, hello. Leo. How's it going? Leo's going to actually do some uh, shrimp handling right now. So we're going to get Leo peeling up some of these shrimp. So they are called easy peel shrimp. So hopefully they are easy. They're easy for me. Yeah. Back in the day, they didn't have these kind of shrimp. So, or we probably just bought them because the, the more labor you do, the less shrimp, the less the price is. So usually they're going to cost more because they, you know, gave you a shortcut. They either you have the PDQ, which is a peeled quick frozen, or um, you have these, which are easy peel. Or you just have, you know, just shrimp with the shell on them, and you got to peel them and clean them and cut them and do everything. Almost done there. Oh yeah. All right, I got a couple more. We're gonna just put the water back on for the pasta. We're gonna put the pasta in because it should come right up to a boil. All right. So as I said, that water just come right back up to a boil. We're gonna add. I'm making a pound of spaghetti. Cook it all. As soon as we hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers, we will start our monthly giveaway. All you need to do to qualify is to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like at least one of our videos. And as our YouTube channel grows, so will our prizes. Don't forget to click the bell and spread the word. I'm going to use this to uh, drain the fried shrimp with a little paper towel on top. And I'm going to transfer this into here. And I'm going to add a little water because the trick, just like when I made the fried calamari, is to keep this moist. When, when, as you add to the flour, it gives it that nice kind of crispy friedness as opposed to just throwing flour on there. Dry. The strip is dry. And we're going to cook this pasta al dente. We all know what al dente is, right? Firm to the tooth. Not cooked all the way. Normally you should see a little bit of white when you bite into it. I'm going to add some flour to this bowl. I'm going to top. Put about a half a tablespoon of salt. Which is basically like maybe one and a half teaspoons. Some black pepper. Now sometimes I put paprika in here, sometimes I put smoked paprika in here. I'm going to put a little paprika in here. This is some nice color and some nice flavor. See, my sauce is good. Coming out nicely. We don't want to overcook the pasta. A little too al dente. So we just mix this flour mixture together. Oh, let's get this oil on. Have some extra garlic here, so I'm going to flavor this oil too. Why not? I want to make sure you don't bring this pasta over the oil. You'll get a lot of splatter. I'm going to slide this over here. Okay, our pasta is ready. But I'm not ready for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cool it down. And then we're just going to heat it up with the marinara sauce. We're going to put this back on the flame. I'm going to shut down our marinara sauce because that's good to go. We'll just give the marinara sauce a little sample. See if I need to put any more salt or pepper. And I think it's good to go. It's always a preference. If you want to add more salt, add more salt. If you don't, don't. Oh, now I know that the oil is getting hot because the garlic is starting to cook. You can always use this garlic, crush it up, mix it up with some butter, and make the best garlic bread you ever had. All right, here we go. So I got these shrimp. I'm going to put them wet. I'm going to put maybe. We're going to overload it. We'll do two batches, I think.
you know, shake off the excess flour because then you know the flour buildup is what destroys your oil. That's why fryers are really great because the heat comes within the oil, not outside of the uh, the pan. So when the pan, when all the oil goes to the bottom of your fryer, it's not being, it doesn't have heat constantly on it, so it lasts longer. You gotta look at those. See how crispy they are. These are just about done. And yeah, they're done. These are good at any time, cold, warm, but they're always best when they first come out of the oven. No really hot. You can try one Leo if you want, but it's hot. Very good. Good, right? Simple and tasty. Sometimes less is more. Alright, that's done. We cut that down. We'll remove these. We would be eating this my whole life, and my father's life before that, my mom's life before that, if this wasn't a great recipe. Simple, simple. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, put this over here, it's got to cool down, and we'll put that in the can, and then we'll dispose of it properly. And I'll just take some of this pasta, and just going to put it back on the stove here. Put some of the sauce. Chop up a little more parsley. After shutting off the pasta, let's go add a little pecorino and mild cheese here. Toss that in. I'm gonna put this right in this corner here. Top. Take some of our shrimp. So you can either put them on the top or you can put them on the side here. I'm going to put them on the side, I think. Dip them in the sauce, eat them with the pasta. Okay, we're adding a little pecorino with my cheese over the shrimp and the pasta. And then some fresh parsley. Oh, doesn't that look awesome? Leo, what do you think? That looks crazy good. Yeah? Very simple, very quick, very easy. Looks great. All right, now we're gonna eat some. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yum. I can't wait to sink my teeth into that. Okay, so we made our fried shrimp and we made a marinara sauce and we cooked some spaghetti and we put it all together. It was really quick, right Leo? Very simple. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give it a taste test. I'm gonna try the pasta first. Leo, you can do whatever you want. Oh, 
Simple, simple is delicious. Perfect. Make the process so firm. Well, that wraps up this week's episode and recipe of fried shrimp with spaghetti and marinara sauce. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as Leo and I enjoyed eating it. Uh, it was really, as I mentioned, it was really quick and simple and uh, it's really, really delicious. Uh, it'll be one of your favorites if, you, uh, if you're a fan of shrimp. I want to thank you all for joining me today. I really do appreciate all your support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or even a like button. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. Uh, so if you do give me a like, I really would appreciate that. And uh, that's only if you enjoyed this recipe. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry you didn't enjoy it. But uh, I enjoyed it. We will be back next week with a new recipe. You all have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Here's an offer you shouldn't refuse. Subscribe to this channel.